This is Valley News Live at noon. We start with information that's new at noon. A Moorhead man will spend more than a decade behind bars after shooting and killing a taxi driver in Moorhead last spring. Willie Sparkman Jr. was originally charged with conspiracy to commit robbery, attempted aggravated robbery, and second degree murder in the death of 24 year old Abdullahi Mohammed Abdullahi. The first two charges have since been dismissed. A Clay County judge sentenced Sparkman this morning to 12 and a half years in prison. Court documents say on May 5th, 2021, Sparkman and 19 year old Christy Vo were attempting to rob Abdullahi for rent money after two other attempted armed robberies in Fargo. Sparkman told police he didn't mean to kill Abdullahi. People are busy cleaning up across the valley after high winds hit the region. A building under construction in South Fargo blew over and is left in a pile of lumber in the 6,000 block of 35th Street South. And viewers also sent in photos showing trampolines flipped on roofs, basketball hoops down, and even some business signs ripped apart. If you raked any leaves previously this year, they're likely back in your yard and scattered all about. And what well, was a cool start to the week, but much calmer than yesterday. Let's check in with meteorologist Jim Gash to see what's in store for this week. Hey, Jim. That's right, Bobby. Those winds have died down pretty well here in the valley. Yesterday was quite the windy day. But right now we're looking here in Fargo and we can see cloudy skies and those cloudy skies are for everyone across the valley. And we do have that first alert weather day for birth, both Thursday and Friday as some big wintry storm is headed its way toward us. Now what are we expecting? We're expecting some rain on Wednesday, which will then transition into some snow on Thursday as temperatures drop and that snow will continue all day on Thursday and for most of the day on Friday, which could lead to some significant impacts. I will have more information about that coming up in just a few minutes, but right now we're looking at temperatures and we can see mostly 20s for everyone across the map, though we're starting to see those 30s start to pop up as temperatures warm up uh, as we move on throughout the day. We're also watching some snow showers make their way into our area coming in from the south and as temperatures warm up some of that snow will transition to rain uh, and I'll have more information about this system as well as the one we expect later on this week coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Jim, thank you so much. You are definitely going to be having your hands full a little bit later. We'll talk to you shortly. Well, those strong winds yesterday were partly to blame for a deadly crash in Lamore County, North Dakota. The Highway Patrol says a semi was passing a pickup on Highway 281 north of Edgeley when the pickup's trailer flipped and detached in the wind causing the pickup to rotate in the path of the semi. The semi hit the pickup, which then rolled onto the passenger side. Both people in the pickup had to be cut out of the vehicle. 64-year-old Renee Wall of Klum died. The 69-year-old driver John Wall is being treated for serious injuries. The semi driver was not hurt. And sad ba sand bagging operations are underway in Florida as subtropical storm Nicole takes aim at the Sunshine State's east coast. The storm is expected to pass the Bahamas on Wednesday and approach the U.S. coast by Wednesday night. Florida officials are warning people to be on the lookout for heavy surf and higher than normal tides as the storm nears. Heavy rainfall is also expected to impact portions of Florida and the southern United States by mid to late week. And one man is facing drunk driving charges after crashing his car into the Red Pepper restaurant in Grand Forks. Police say 22 year old Chase Wallace missed a curb on University Avenue just before 10 last night, drove over the curb and smashed into the building. Wallace was treated for injuries and charged with DUI. An early voting for the general election is over in North Dakota, but you can still do it today on the Minnesota side until 5 p.m. You can also drop off ballots at drop boxes. Check with your county about details on that deadline. Election officials say mail-ins are dicey right now because they are they may not arrive in time for your vote to be counted in Minnesota. The deadline to arrive is tomorrow at 5 p.m. in North Dakota. Mail-in ballots needed to be postmarked by today. A Fargo woman is warning people to watch their mailboxes after someone stole a check right out of her mailbox.
She says a neighbor witnessed a man pull into the driveway and rummage through the mailbox. She says it's discouraging since she's been traveling in and out of town while attending to a sick family member. Very frustrating. I mean, I felt violated. You know, I, I am able to, yes, drive my mail to the post office if need be. And from here on in, I will either pay accordingly by phone or auto pay. The neighbor describes the possible suspect vehicle as a smaller silver Toyota with Corwin plates. The North Dakota Museum of Art in Grand Forks is offering a reward for the return of a stolen sculptor, or sculpture, I should say. The museum director says that the Garden Circle piece has been an important part of the museum for decades. The museum is offering a $1,000 reward for the return of the statue, no questions asked. If you have any information, you are asked to contact the UND Police Department. Some North Dakota school districts are adding e-buses to their fleets. Enderlin is using a $1.5 million grant from the EPA to buy four electric school buses. Mableton got $395,000 for one new e-bus, as did Glenn Owen out in western North Dakota. Now, traditional school buses cost a lot to maintain, and with rising costs of diesel, electric is an option many districts are looking at. And WeFest has announced the main stage lineup for the 40th year of the Country Music Festival. Morgan Wallen, Brad Paisley, and Kane Brown will each headline one of the nights August 3rd through the 5th. Others heading to Soon Pass Ranch in Detroit Lakes next summer include Brothers Osborne, Chase Rice, and Travis Tritt. Tickets are available now, and we have a link on that story on your VNL News app. And the Powerball lottery has climbed to another record high. Officials say the grand prize is now up to $1.9 billion after no tickets matched all six numbers drawn. On Saturday night, the last time someone won the jackpot was August 3rd. The next drawing is tonight. Well, coming up at noon, the number of school shootings continue to climb, and one company is hoping to give teachers and students some added protection. But next, Jim Gash is in with your weather to help plan your day.